Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Grandia Parallel Trippers. Last time we made it into the Sea of Trees, and today we're gonna go exploring! Finally! Oh wow, you have plague. I guess I really don't want to explore here. I'll leave you guys to just die on your own. Let's go on down here though and get to our first battle of the game. Let's see. So, okay. Here's the battle system. It gets pretty complex here. You have your regular stats up top. Sue so can act, skip, or run. Remember, you do not have items in this game, so let's have her act. And, uh, let's see, she has all of her abilities here that she can use. Uh, you can hit the select button again to look at, um, what they do just in case you forgot. And I equipped it on her, as well as everybody else, some of the, um, nicer things that I got from that little slot machine there. So let's go ahead and use Double Smash. Notice, this is just 32 AP. Um, she is 83 AP. But we're gonna go ahead and use it on the foe. You can choose which one you want to use it on. A nice thing that this game does is it tells you how much HP each enemy has. This one has 54, this one has 46. We'll go ahead and hit that one. Then you choose where to put Sue on this little menu right here. The further up the menu you put her between like 8 and 5, um, the more powerful her end of attack will be, and also you have a chance of inflicting a status ailment as well. So that's pretty nice. Also, you can check out your enemy and their stats and everything too by clicking on them. If you want her to go really fast, put her down by one. If you want her her attack to be a bit more powerful, you can put her further up. We'll go ahead and put her at three. Now notice, now it's Fina's turn. She went up one for the action. Sue went down one for her act. So let's see, we're gonna go down here and uh, let's see, maybe cut whip. How much does this deal? 33, but it deals more damage to weird type foes. We'll go ahead and use that. Uh, we'll use it on this guy over here. Notice that these guys are weird. It says slime, then it has the picture, and then underneath it it says weird. That's their element, so yeah. Um, and we'll just stick her on three as well. Now Sue's gonna move one closer to act, and now it's David's turn. So let's see, for him, I gave him the all healer since he has so much HP. Um, let's see, what do I wanna build up? One thing to keep in mind whenever you're playing a Grandia game is um, with these, I don't know, skill types or attack types that they have, the more you use those particular skills, the more levels they will gain. So I'm going to have him use his sword attack so that he gains more levels in sword. Now all three of them are kind of lined up, and it's Sue's turn to act. She hit act, so now she's using her ability right there. Oh wow, pretty close to death, but not quite. And then the slime is going to go ahead and use their attack. They're just protecting themselves. Ooh, we have a combo! C -c combo Yeah, these again, like I said, they're kind of random. Um, I gotta say, but they're very nice to have. And it depends on where you put people. You can only use combos if two characters are right next to each other. So do keep that in mind. Ooh, and we found the Gas Shroud card. I actually want two of those. So I'm going to um, go back and refight these guys again for another one of those drops. Okay, I got that taken care of. So what I want to do now, as far as the synthesizing is concerned, go to Sue and uh, her shot ability. You want to go ahead and take that off so that you're actually able to synthesize um, that. And you might want to save your game before you do this as well. Thankfully, I have save states, so I already did. And let's go ahead and recover as well. Okay, so, no, didn't want to go to warp point. I want to synthesize. Okay, so take your shot ability and then one of the gas shrouds and just keep on going. Keep on going until we get what I want, which is the shock darts. Go ahead and do that. You get this little scene here. You can just skip it by hitting the A button if you want to. But yeah. So that's actually a halfway decent ability with a 75% chance of stun. But we can get a better ability by uh, taking those shock darts and combining them into all sorts of different things, just not what I want. Come on, game. Yeah, this is why I really don't like uh, synthesizing. It's just a pain. 
pain. Like, it's random like this. It's just such a pain. There it is. Okay, perfect. The sniper shot. That's definitely what I want. Such a good ability. It allows you to steal accessories. Yeah. It's so good. Okay, so that sniper shot. Um, I could give it to Sue, but it's kind of expensive. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually give it to David. Let's see, go ahead and stick it on him. And also, because David can't really ever leave your party, it's always nice to have that sniper shot ability there. And Sue, she still has plenty of other attacks. Uh, most of them are mace-based abilities, but she does have this random shot ability for her bow. And it's to all enemies, too, so Sue has plenty of other stuff that she can do. Okay, so now, let's set off exploring. See what there is to see, see what there is to find. Oh, what's that? Whoa. Oh, a leaf! We were looking for a leaf. How convenient. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's basically telling you how to make a combo, but I already know how to, so I don't need to worry about it. Okay, so let's see with her. Uh, which one of these... I think it's the Double Smash. Yeah, that dealt a pretty decent amount of damage. This Dark Smasher, that deals up to all enemies. So yeah, let's go ahead and use this on him. Doesn't have a lot of HP, but I like to line up my party members and put Sue at three. Just, um, it just makes things easier there. We'll have her use Burn. Stick her there. And you... Oh, I probably should have put Sue at four. Or we could just kill the guy in one shot. I oh, get another gas shroud. Okay, whatever. David didn't even get a turn. I didn't even get to use my sniper shot. How upsetting to me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this leaf was no good anyway. Hmm. So more leaves to the south. Let's head on down here. Hey there. Oh. Well, I don't want to do that. Like, these little parts of the forest right there. That'll hurt you. Don't walk over them like I did. Don't be an idiot. So, just jump using the A button and you'll be fine. Let's see. Oh, more people. Oh, okay. Huh. That's nice to know. The waterfall. Oh, there's trees blocking the river. Hmm. Another enemy down there, but I'll just ignore him. What do we have here? Some dried meat. Awesome. Step on the flowers, the mushrooms sink. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll deal with that later. Right now, I want to get some treasure. Ooh, floral flower. Awesome. So, step on the mushrooms and the flowers sink, or the flowers and the mushrooms sink, or something like that. But yeah, it's just a really simple, really easy puzzle to deal with here. So let's go ahead and uh, sink all these things. And let's go this way. Ooh, for some treasure. Ooh, get the enhancer. So we've got some new accessories now. Let's just check them out. I'm sure they're not any better than what I already have, but Sue and Fina do have a, um, an opening for another accessory. Ooh, attack plus 10. Let's give, well, actually I am gonna give that to Sue because Sue doesn't have any magical um, attacks, but Fina does. Fina has the burn spell. Sue is only using physical attacks. Hey there. Hmm. You don't really have much to say, do you? Okay. And I guess we can't go that way. Just a little froggy there. But we haven't gone down here. Doinks! Yeah, just gotta be very careful. Oh, another warp point. Awesome. And another treasure. I might as well go ahead and recover. Yeah, you pretty much always want to recover whenever you're at a warp point first aid kit. These items, personally, I don't really use them all that often, because you can't use them during battle. It's like, what's the point, you know? But, eh, whatever. You know, to each their own. Maybe there will be some longer dungeons later on in the game that I haven't got to yet that would be good to use them at. I don't know. 
I've gotten to the third area in the game so far. I'm playing a bit ahead. Let's see. Uh, go this way. Ah! Uh, even on a Game Boy Color game, my hand-eye coordination strikes again. Yeah, I know. I'm terrible. I'm well aware. Oh, that looks like a new enemy. I like how enemies are shown on screen. That's really nice. Ooh, a resurrect card. Probably have to give that to David as well. Urgh! Oh, 300 gold. Awesome. Let's see, might as well go ahead and fight this guy. Whoa! Lots of enemies! Yikes! Let's see, was it Dark Smasher that dealt? Yeah, it's all enemies. Let's go ahead and use that. And we'll stick her on four. Ooh! Yeah! Remember how I said that sometimes, uh, whenever you put people further back, they can get a status ailment? Yeah, so whenever Sue attacks, it's going to attack them all with, um, with the confused status ailment, so that's really nice. Let's see if any of these guys are actually weird elemental. Let me just look at them. Uh, oh, they're also- oh, this guy has a lot of HP, though. Let's see. Insect, 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 no. Okay. Um, let's just have her use burn then. That's fine. We'll use it on this guy. He does have the most HP. And we'll stick you here. Ooh, her magical attack power increased. And you... Eh, might as well use that sniper shot. It's not gonna hurt anything. Yeah, we'll stick you there. Why not? Ooh! So yeah, I'm pretty much gonna wanna be constantly using Sniper Shot over and over and over again um, on these guys to get as many accessories as humanly possible. It's so good. Ooh. Gain some levels. Can, can't hurt. Oh, what's this? That looks like a really big leaf. Yeah! You think? Uh-oh. It's a monster! How can we possibly deal with this monster? We've only dealt with all the other monsters. This guy should be fine. Let's see if he's a dark... Oh. Yeah, she doesn't have a lot of AP anymore. So she needs to gain up some more AP. So we'll just have to use regular smash on it. doesn't have that much HP anyway. We'll stick her there. And let's see what I want you to do. We'll use a burn on it. And we'll stick you back here. And because I do want that sniper shot to go through, and I want to grab that accessory, I want David to go first. It's imperative that he goes first so that he's able to steal the frickin' accessory. Ooh, got a crystal. Nice. Yeah, it's just protecting itself. It's completely useless. Come on, Fina. You can do it. There we go. Yeah, what an easy boss that was. Ooh, her mace level went up one. Yeah, again, it's like Saga. The more you use it, the more, you know, your abilities go up. So that's kind of nice. Her fire ability went up. And David's bow ability should be going up pretty soon as well. Oh. Dark green area by the riverbanks. Hmm. I don't know. What is that thing? Oh, yeah, they did say that Pinky could find some fruit and then, you know, eat those. Ooh, the Pinky Rope Skill. Oh, how convenient. So, yeah, you press the B button, you can disembark from the boat. Got you. Um, that's what the guy in town told us. And we'll have to keep that in mind, but now we have access to the boat and we can go on the rivers. Next time on Let's Play Grandia Parallel Trippers, this has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.